Yeah, everything. Cause Eve is one of 500,000 people living with celiac disease in the UK. The autoimmune disease can be debilitating, with symptoms including diarrhoea, fatigue and vomiting. Obviously it varies from person to person, so for me it was really extreme fatigue, um, so literally feeling like you've got weights tied to your body, that you can't, you're just so tired you can't even move your arms or anything. Um, nausea pretty much on a constant daily basis, no matter what you eat, you're just constantly feeling really sick and groggy and um, really sort of bad stomach cramps, um, really quite severe at times. So they were kind of my three key symptoms. I was literally in and out of the doctors for like pretty much every week. Um, and I got told that like you're young, you look healthy, you look fine, I don't think there's anything wrong with you. Um, so I started to really question if it was in my head after a while. Eve's immune system mistakenly attacks substances found in gluten whenever she eats any of it. Autoimmune condition, so it's not an allergy or an intolerance. So whereas like an allergy would, you might go into a shock or something um, and it'd be more immediate. It's like a long-term effect, so it, when you ingest gluten, it attacks your gut lining, um, which then means that you can't digest your food properly. So on a healthy person, they would have um, like lots of villi along their intestines, and some of celiac disease has it smooth. Um, so yeah, it doesn't ingest very well. Eve has been living with the disease for eight years, and for at least five of those, was struggling with undiagnosed symptoms. When I was about 18, um, that's when it got sort of noticeable, I was very tired all the time. And then when I was about 19, 20, I started having these episodes where I would wake up at like four in the morning and just uh, be throwing up just from like really bad stomach pains. And that would go on for about a week. And then it would stop for a few weeks and then start again, like very randomly. There's no one's ever been able to tell me what the pattern is with that. I think I did notice that when the night before it would happen, I would be really, really hungry and eat quite a lot of food um, and then go to bed and be OK and then just feel really sick in the middle of the night. After she was diagnosed two years ago, Eve started making changes to her diet. There are a lot of foods she has to avoid. So it's, you've got the obvious things like bread and cakes, um, pasta, but then there's also things like um, soy sauce, um, stock cubes, I'm trying to think, there's like obscure things that you just wouldn't think about and then it's looking out for things that are maybe handled with gluten, so like crisps are really quite difficult to buy, gluten free crisps. Um, nuts even if they've been handled in a factory, spices are an absolute minefield. So you just, you've got to be really careful um, all the time, so you can't eat any gluten at all. Um, so obviously that's cutting out gluten in your food, but that's also when you're preparing food. You can't use like the same toaster as a normal, normal person. Um, you, you couldn't use the same butter in case it's got breadcrumbs in it, so it's even like the slightest cross-contamination and cleaning your utensils and chopping boards and things like that you have to be very careful um, obviously makes eating out can be a little bit stressful at times but you just get used to it and now it just feels really normal like just feels like I've had it forever she has managed to find replacements for most gluten-rich foods so I have these which are um, organic pumpkin ginger and rice noodles so um, Obviously they are gluten and wheat free, um, they're good for sort of going in your stir fries and things like that. Um, the next one is something called amaranth, which is, I think it's called like a sardo cereal or grain. Um, so it's not actually a grain, it's like a seed um, and it's really good for making porridge out of because I can't eat oats at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's quite a handy thing to have and you could have it in place of like rice or pasta or something like that. And then the last one is buckwheat kind of rice cakes which are good for just if I'm traveling or in a rush and I need something to eat to bulk out my food a bit. It's a bit like eating polystyrene but it's pretty good still. Jessica Wilkins for That Solent.